Good evening, everybody. I have an unboxing to do. Uh, before I get started, I'm going to do a little rant, a little bit of a Q&A. So the first question is, why do I stack silver? It is a hedge against inflation. We all know what inflation is about, rising prices. Uh, when that happens, you know, your purchasing power goes down. Another reason is wealth preservation. It's a way to preserve your wealth. Uh, it's considered a physical asset, gold and silver. Um, another reason is saving money without it being too liquid. Because when you have cash, it is too easy to spend versus saving it. Uh, converting your cash to precious metals is a way to get off of the monetary system. Since holding cash long term has shown that U.S. currency by itself has a history of losing its purchasing power every year. The inflation rate is about 2% a year. So, for example, $1 will have about $0.98 cents purchasing power a year from now. And that is not good. Uh, what is my goal? Well, my first goal is to have a monster box of silver American Eagles. As you can see, I have 13 tubes of silver Eagles. And I need a total of 25 to accomplish my goal of having a monster box. So what do I think of silver and gold prices? Well, the equities market, also known as the stock market, has an inverse effect on precious metals prices. Uh, in other words, stock market up, gold and silver down. Stock market down, gold and silver up. Uh, global crisis also has a positive effect on precious metals as far as price goes. For example, a worldwide health scare of some sort. We all know about that. Uh, military conflicts also causes silver and gold prices to rise and move. Uh, market manipulation it mainly means paper traders out there working for certain banks have a way of manipulating the precious metals prices. Um, you get a bunch of uh, people trading the market and uh, shorting it causing the prices of precious metals to go down, uh, taking multiple long positions uh, causes the price of precious metals to go up. Another reason is supply and demand. That also has an effect on gold and silver prices. Um, if the supply is low with silver, for example, the demand goes up, thus causing the prices of silver to go up. Um, silver is known as an industrial metal as well. It is used in solar panels, uh, a little bit of electronics and other things. Gold, supply and demand, uh, used for making jewelry. Also, it is another store of value used by banks around the world. And uh, gold prices are also affected by supply and demand as well. Uh, the demand goes up 
when uh, the electronics industry starts booming because because it's used in circuit boards. So, collectors versus stackers. So what am I? I am a stacker. Exit strategy. What is my exit strategy? Sell my precious metals back to the major online bullion dealers when silver and gold reaches what I think is a favorable price. Then deploy the cash into other income producing assets such as dividend stocks or real estate. Um, it's always good to make your money work for you, not you working for your money. All right, time to unbox. So this is a package that comes from Provident Metals. A small box. This is a one tenth ounce twenty twenty gold eagle. This particular coin is mine because this is a group order. Let's see if we can take a closer look at it. It is a very small coin. There's the front of the coin, it's Lady Liberty. And here is the back of the coin. Pretty difficult to view. So here is a one-tenth ounce gold eagle tube. It holds 50 of these coins. Currently, I have one in here. Now I have two. This is the 2020 Australian Shipwreck Verglade Drake. This is coin two of four. It is a four coin series and there is a mintage of 20,000. And we have two. And we have a 2020 one ounce Silver Eagle.
and there's a total of three. And here we have a one ounce Aztec round. This is part of the Warrior series. That is a four coin series as well. Actually a six coin series. This is the second release in a six coin series. So we have one of these. And this I believe is an Egyptian round. It is number six in a six coin series. It's called the World of Dragons series. Got a giant dragon's eye on the back. Two dragon eyes. Finally, we have a uh, Indian round, also part of the World Dragon World of Dragon series. This is fifth in a six coin series. And there's that dragon eye on the back. So these are more of your semi-numismatic coins um, that have a certain production run and then the series finally ends. And once it ends, that's pretty much it. So they do have some collector value and a semi-numismatic value, which means they should increase in price eventually. So my conclusion, keep stacking every paycheck, build a significant pile of physical wealth, liquidate your precious metals as you see fit, redeploy your cash into other cash producing assets such as real estate or dividend stocks. If you like what you see, hit the like button. Subscribe to the channel. Monk Stacker out.